In the comment section, I have seen many of you saying that my introductions are usually too long. Therefore, in this video, I want to get right into it. I am going to discuss with you seven of the most common diseases in layer chicken. That is the parasites, and in this context, I'm going to talk about the mites and the lice, the fall pox, infectious coryza, Newcastle disease, coccidiosis, respiratory infections, that is infectious bronchitis and chronic respiratory disease and also the worms i'm going to give you the signs and symptoms of each of these infections or diseases and most importantly the natural treatment how to prepare and the dosage the first it's the parasites and in this context i'm going to talk about the mites and the lice and here are the signs and symptoms that you can look out for to know that your chickens is affected by the mites and the lice there is one natural treatment that I know is going to eliminate these mites and lice. And that is the Tomatius earth powder. What you are going to do is dust your chickens and the chicken house. Number two, you can add this diatomaceous earth powder in the chicken's bathing area. If the mites are, are around the eyes of the chicken where you cannot sprinkle this powder, you can use the coconut oil wherever you can smear it on top of these mites. The coconut oil helps to suffocate and kill these mites. The second disease is the fallpox. There are two types of fallpox. That is the dry fallpox and also the wet, wet fallpox. Dry fallpox causes black wounds on the waters, around the eyes, and also the combs. It also causes facial swellings. In short, it is external. But for the wet fallpox, it's usually internal because it causes ulcers and wounds in the mouth and the throat of the chicken. Other symptoms of fallpox include decreased egg production, loss of appetite, weight loss, and decreased egg production. There are two treatments that you can use for fallpox. There's the topical treatment, that is to cure the dry fallpox, and the systemic treatment to cure the wet fallpox. For the topical treatment, you can use the lemon juice, which you, you can, you know, cut the lemon into four parts. Take one quarter of the lemon, press it, and gently rub it on the wounds which are on the wound waters and the combs of the chicken. You can also smear the wounds with palm oil and honey, and you can also use hapo colgate toothpaste to apply on these wounds. For the systemic treatment, you can add garlic in the chicken's drinking water after crushing it. You can also use turmeric powder into the chicken drinking water or in the chicken feed. You and you can also use the essential oils. That is either the thyme essential oil, oregano essential oil, or the lavender essential oil. The essential oils, despite being added in the chicken's drinking water, you can also apply them on the wound to help in the recovery. The third disease is infectious coryza. Infectious coryza is a disease of the upper respiratory system of the chicken. And here are the signs and symptoms that you can look out for to know that your chickens is affected by the infectious coryza. Some of the common ones are depression, nasal discharge, facial swelling, and swollen waters, and the others. The treatment that you are going to use here is a combination of garlic, lemon, ginger, and honey. Here is a procedure that you are going to use to prepare this treatment. After pre preparing it, you are going to add 150 ml of the treatment into each liter of the chicken's drinking water. The fourth disease is the Newcastle disease. There are two forms of Newcastle disease. That is acute form and the mild form. For the acute form, it is the one that affects your chickens if first you did not vaccinate them and it is usually the symptoms are usually sudden death after a few hours or a day or so of infection and there is also the mild form this is usually newcastle disease that is quite weak it can affect your chicken even if you vaccinated them but through supportive treatment your chickens can recover here are some of the signs and symptoms mm -hmm. to check out for to know that your chickens are affected by the Newcastle disease. The first thing for the treatment is to make sure that you vaccinate your chickens. The first treatment, you are going to need pepper, water, ash, and aloe vera. And here is a preparation procedure to use. After preparing it, you can add this treatment into the chickens drinking water. 
The second treatment, you are going to need onions, garlic, and honey. And here is the procedure that, to prepare this treatment containing the onions, garlic, and honey. For the dosage, you are going to add one teaspoonful into each liter of the chicken's drinking water. The third treatment, you are going to need oregano leaves, rosemary leaves, and also lemons. So here is a procedure that you are going to use to make the treatment. After preparing this treatment, you are going to add it into the chicken's drinking water at a rate of 150 ml per liter. The fifth disease is coccidiosis. Coccidiosis is quite common and most of us know how to identify it. Here, however, here are some signs and symptoms to check out. And when it comes to the natural treatment, I have five of them. The first one is apple cider vinegar. We are going to add 3 ml per liter of the chicken's drinking water. The second treatment is the pow pow leaf powder. You are going to add 144 milligrams per bud per day of this pow pow leaf powder. The third one is garlic. Garlic, you can either crush the cloves and add them in water or use the garlic powder by adding 0.7 grams of the garlic powder into each kg of the chicken feed. The other treatment is the green tea powder. For the green tea powder, add 0.4 grams per kilogram of the chicken feed. And the last one is a blended aloe vera gel. Blended aloe vera gel is going to be added into the chicken's drinking water in a rate of 25 ml per liter. The sixth disease is the respiratory infections. And for this case, I'm going to discuss the infectious bronchitis and the chronic respiratory disease. These two respiratory infections have almost similar signs and symptoms. Some of them are like the ones that you can see on your screen. For the natural treatment, the first treatment you are going to need turmeric and pepper. And here is a procedure to prepare this treatment. You are going to add one teaspoonful of this treatment after you prepare it into each three liters of the chicken's drinking water. The second treatment is garlic. And for garlic, crush the clove and add them into the chicken's drinking water. The third natural treatment is the coconut oil. You are going to add it the, to the chicken's drinking water at a rate of 1.5 ml per liter. You can also give this coconut oil via the mouth for the severely affected chickens, that is with the infectious bronchitis or chronic respiratory disease. The seventh disease is the worms. Worms cause poor digestion by causing erosion of walls of the digestive system of the chicken and competing for nutrients with the chicken. And therefore, this will cause depression, decreased egg production, egg of worms and even adult worms in the feces of the chicken. You can also see blood in the feces and it is required that you deworm your layer chicken after every two months. The natural dewormers that you are going to use to eliminate these worms. Number one is the apple cider vinegar. Add one teaspoonful per drinker. The second one is the pumpkin seed powder. The pumpkin seed Seed powder is going to be added into the chicken feed at a rate of 20 grams per kg. The third treatment is the garlic. Garlic powder is going to be added into the chicken feed while the fresh garlic cloves can be crushed and added into the chicken's drinking water. I hope you have learned something from this video and I would also recommend that you hit the video that is on your screen right now to know the most common diseases in broilers and how to treat them using natural treatments.